went up yesterday yeah this is the end result so this is what it looks like it has been drained completely okay and in here i have some beef because we'll be cooking as well very soon i'll tell you guys what i'm about to make okay so i want to show you the banga that we'll be cooking today so for today's lunch i will take you guys with me we'll be making banga soup or banga stew for sunday lunch and i'm going to carry you guys along as always okay guys welcome back to the channel so you guys it's another sunday in my life <laughs> so let me say something ever since my kids have been on holiday for summer holiday you guys to be honest i find it so difficult to vlog Today on sundays that i get to cook like cook we like to say bulk cook yeah for the family so you know most times during the week we usually cook we usually cook simple food maybe boy white yam make porridge yam and all that i don't really get to vlog as much as possible okay what do we do there's we don't do much during the week that's just the truth I just got back from church not quite long i hope this my mic is micing i hope it's working yeah i want to show you guys what i'm up to so whatever thing i'm going to do today is going to be spend the day with me we're going to be cooking we're going to be wrapping pap together you know most times i usually love to, it's been long i made pap on this space on my channel the one we had we made last has finished i decided to like make me one yesterday and i already have on my channel a lot of videos you know detailed videos on how to make this pap which i will leave in the description box below so in here i already have some leftover meat here which i'll put in the freezer okay the one i have is enough for the for the soup for the soup okay so yeah let's just keep you know let me just add things i need to add here and yeah that is what i am up to my people how are you i hope you went to sunday you went to church today did you or did you not so i have salt i'll add like two I don't want my soup watery. Now what I then I just added salt and seasoning and then onion. That's all. I'm going to secure this properly and then I'll turn on my cooker. Eh? I uh, come and say yeah, it's raining. See rain rain. Come and say hi guys. You guys, so I want to make pop for my baby girl. Hi mama. <laughs> say hi mommy. It's raining. Yeah, it's raining, rain rain. Your water has boiled, so I need to make pap for Cora. You guys, the most times whenever I come back from church, the first thing I do is to make pap for her. She had nutri bone, she had cereals in the month before going to church, mama. so she's hungry. Right, mama? mama? No, this is my mic. Leave my mic. Hey. Cora, say hi, guys. Hi, guys. So I want to show you guys what the pap looks like after this is like a day. So the whole water has been completely drained. You can see it looks so fresh and very yellow. Even though this my camera is not doing justice to the color, it's actually very very yellow. Like very very yellow. So fresh. I love to make my pap by myself though, so that I'll be sure of what I am taking. Ebe wunyenia. So I'll be sure of what I'm taking because you guys, Lagos water will be here. Wow. I think this should be like four custard buckets of pap. Mm, you can see. It looks so fresh. So this is what the pap looks like. I want to use stock fish head for this recipe. So meanwhile, this pap, uh, if, I'm, if I need to wrap that pap, it's going to take a while. So let me just process, since the hot water is ready, let me just process this banga so that I can start cooking it down because it takes a while to boil down to so avoid spending so much time in the kitchen. One, one is okay. So you guys, you're going to try and extract, like squeeze out the whole juice. It smells good. It smells good, right? Okay, you can open it. Let's see what we have. So we'll see how whether it's cooked enough. So that we can start boiling our mama, mama it's very hot stay there okay mm, the good year for kaimalo our face on the go soft you see it's soft right but you can see the meat is soft to an extent <laughs> so the meat is soft to an extent okay 
Eh, meat. Meat. It's not ready. This girl can eat meat for Africa. So, then they got a car outside now. So, they So hot. Mama is hot. Thank you, Mama. No, it's going to turn my hand. So, you guys, this is what we have. I just like go with Joey. These are, these are all chaps. I'm going to be trashing this one. I don't need it. Mama, I hope we should go to the pal, okay? It's done. There's nothing else again. It's done. We are done. Go with your sister. She will soon come here. If you are there, go and watch Coco Melon. Okay? Uh, to be careful so it doesn't pour. Uh, let's see. So that the whole thing drains. Because it's very thick, it might not be able to pass through the sieve easily. But whichever way, uh, it's better it's thick than it's watery. Watery, watery. You should, should, so you should sit down there. So you can sit down close in front. I told you this girl is a jacket. Jaka, like we call this type of people a jacaja. Those ones that does not like anything to cross them. <laughs> you want your brother to sit at the back so that you will sit in front. No! Kowa! Don't do that. So she calls herself Kowa. That's what I'm calling her Kowa. <laughs> yes, but Kowa is not behaving herself at all. So my people, we are done. No, we can this into the big pot and then, yeah, yeah, it's shiny. We are all cooking together. This one is fam. The whole family cooks for dad. There's only daddy that is not here. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Call a shift, okay? This is um, banga spice, ehuru, and then those tiny stuffs. I want to go ahead add some crayfish to it so that it will be easy for. No, add more. <laughs> yeah, so I'll be blending this right now with my dry cup. That's dry blender. So, guys, <laughs> the whole kitchen is clean. We're able to clean up the whole floor, and then I have the banga boiling nicely here. So that's the palm kernel. So because this is going to be continental, intercontinental special banga recipe, we'll be making use of red bell peppers for this. I have tatashe and shombo. That's what it's called, okay? I'll also be adding um, onion to this. And we're going to blend this together. Okay? Yeah. Eh? yeah. So this is the onion, which I will just slice right now. Slice into the blender and then we'll start blending okay i'm just washing it that's what i'm doing this is it this will give this a powerful nice flavor and taste the kick that we're looking for we should give it the kick that kick okay look at our banga so my it smells good explode. right no it's not going to explode it's open so most times people some people boil their there is covered but i love to boil mine open so that it does not spill over okay if you cover this it's going to spill over so for my part i love to tie you know i gain new subscribers every day i gain new family members here every day so <laughs> that's why sometimes you have to keep repeating some content for people that haven't seen it so other people will be like might be like <coughs> sorry guys why do you love to tie your part the reason why i do this is so that to be easy for us to consume this is the quantity we have you know, if like we, I have a large family, okay, I have food I live with. So if I'm to make pasta sometimes for everyone, I might bring two of these out. But if it's just for probably me, my husband and Soma, one might be enough for us. But if it's for everyone, we can bring more. So the reason why I love to tie them like this is it makes, you know, assessing it very easy for me from the fridge or from the freezer, okay? From the freezer. So I'm going to continue with this. While we are banga is still cooking, it's boiling so nicely. My stuff is also cooking. And when I'm done, I will show you guys what I was able to come up with. Uh -huh. You guys, this smells so good. This smells so good. That's just so good. Let me let me taste it for the camera. It dissolves so easily. Delicious. Very delicious. Seriously. So fresh. If you want pop. Hi me in the comment section. <laughs> Let me send some across. You must be in Lagos, so 
and he must be in Nigeria. He came there, met we be like brother demon. <laughs> he must be in Lagos and he must be in Nigeria. Mama Ogi, avoid this video. <laughs> I know they send Papa brother. <laughs> I know the same papa brother, but when you come to Nigeria, I don't want to give you plenty papa, plenty papa, plenty papa for you. You guys, let me stop blabbing and then continue. Guys, this is after like maybe let's say 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes later. You can see I am done wrapping the pap. We have some of them in here, lots of them in here. So this is what the pap looks like okay and i also have some here so i'll go ahead and transfer this to my freezer so this is what the banga looks like the palm kernel palm fruits palm juice i don't know what it's called it's been cooking so nice i think it's right time i start pouring other ingredients let me turn it so you guys will see what i'm doing it's properly cooked okay so i'll add the stockfish head to the soup okay I don't know if I will add everything though. Let me just start. That way. You can see I'm adding the beef. Coco mama. I got not in your poop. People, got people in your got people. Got people in your body. Good girl. Okay. This my soup is very thick. It looks so delicious. I'm adding my mangala fish. Okay, to the pot. Mama, I hope you are learning. No, don't touch anything. Then I have some stock fish fillet, which I also add. And I have my banga spice. Don't worry, I will still show you guys what the soup looks like. A closer look. I'll add the banga spice. I'm adding everything now. We can. Oh! Mama, I'm go to the parlor. Then I have blended tatashe. For extra color and flavor, this goes in. I will still rinse it out. Because no. I go to the parlor. I will be adding some onion. A lot of onion. You guys, you can never go wrong with onion in your banga. So I will add go. I add it. I can add it. So I have pounded crayfish. In a block of my video. Just watch the jacket. Yeah. So I have pounded crayfish. Obey and um, both habanero pepper and scotch bonnet. So I'll add, I'll add everything to the soup. This soup is loaded. You know, people have to come closer. Mm -mm. At this point, you have to come closer. I'll rinse everything out and then add to the soup. I want to bring you guys closer so you see what this soup looks like. <laughs> so this is a closer look of what my banga soup looks like as you can see it is very very thick even more as in thicker than i expected so i'll be adding small i'll be adding the stock fish the stock you know see you can see it is very very thick i know a lot of people love their banga this tea but for me i think this is very thick because once it's cooled down completely it will still thicken up so i'll go ahead and add some some of that stock my both my stock fish stock and um, the meat stock to loosen it up a bit. This is my um, not beef. This is what I'll be using for my. I wouldn't use not chicken for this. I'd rather use just not beef. Okay. So I'm going to add this. My grandma will not add seasoning cubes, so she'll be like, if you add the baby, you don't add everything. Don't they add seasoning? My gay day, no good for health. <laughs> Take a look at my soup. Hey, Chile Kenamu. Opa, Waraka, where is it? You guys, take a look at this authentic, authentic Kitika Banga. To be honest, I didn't know this stuff was, was going to come out like this. This is what happens when my husband goes to the market. This guy will go and buy plenty things. Seriously, I didn't know this apple would turn out. It's looking so, so, so. My isn't so much, but this is going to last for us. <laughs> this is the scent leaf that we washed earlier. Now, this smells so good, so I'm going to add everything. I'm adding everything. Please ignore the noise. I don't know if this my mic is um 
covering background noises. Is it covering? <laughs> Shielding. <laughs> so yeah, I added Nchao to this. I'm going to add a little bit of Ogo because Nchao gives the soup that really nice flavor and taste. So this is my Ogo wash too. I'll add like, let me just add like a handful of the Ogo. Let me show you guys. Something like this. Let's see. Let me stir this so that we don't over add the vegetables. Okay. So yeah, let us see what the soup looks like after we've added our vegetables. Um, uh, this one choke. Should I add more vegetables? Over ten. Isn't that over ten? Or uh, ten over ten or eleven over ten? Oh my God, this is so good. I'm going to give this like one more minute and then I'll turn off my cooker. Voila! Mm. So this is what the food looks like. You guys, this tastes so good. So I'm going to taste it in front of the camera so you guys will see. And I'm enjoying it with local rice. So that's local rice. Nigerian rice. You guys, see. If you've never made your banga soup using... Um, the bell peppers, please do try it out. Bell peppers taste so good. Blend your onion, add blended onion, add bell peppers to your falcon, and thank me later. Hmm. Mm. This tastes so good, you guys. I'm going to be ending this video. Let me go and enjoy my food. Hmm. If watch up until now, let me know the highlights of this video for you. And if you're yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button to be part of this family. Thank you guys so much for your massive love and support. I don't take your love for granted. And I will see you all in my next video. Stay happy, stay blessed, and be kind. Bye, guys. Babe. Babe. Danu now. I want to take one glass too. Like it is, you work out in a camera now. Come on. Come on, tell them how you speak. Open it, go on. Most of the fuck we're getting on now.